is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So from the title of this video you guys already know. I know it's been quite a long time but I've officially owned this car back here. My 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer GT for 7 years. Yes, 7 full years. And I know a huge majority of you guys who are subscribers to the channel follow me on the channel because of this car. A lot of you guys are car enthusiasts. And some of you guys have been watching my videos for years and have definitely seen the progress on this build. Um, so let's take it back seven years and kind of recap, um, you know, back when I first got it. So it was 2015 in November. I was looking around for a second car. Um, at the time, I did have a 1999 Honda Civic EX Coupe, so an EK Civic. Um, and shout out to you guys if you guys have been watching since then. But that car was pretty sweet. I had a lot of fun. I took the car to car meets, met a lot of car friends. That's my first real build. And then I was uh, actually looking at a second car. I wanted a four door car, but I wanted a cool looking sedan. And at the time I was looking at either Mitsubishi Lancer or a Lexus IS250. Yes, very different cars, but I want something that was somewhat sporty. I didn't really care about speed. And I had a budget of uh, $25,000. Um, I wanted something brand new as well. So yeah, these two were my options. If you guys are wondering, so many people over the years said, why did you not get an Evo 10? Uh, that was because I did go to the Mitsubishi dealership and the I really wanted a Mitsubishi Rally Art. There weren't any brand new, unfortunately. So I could either go up, raise my budget to get a Mitsubishi Evo 10. The Evo 10 GSR at the time, brand new, was going for $38,000. Brand new. Um, the Evo 10 MR was going for $43,000. So that's a sticker price before taxes and all that good stuff. Um, it was kind of pricey out of my price range. And the next one down from the rally art was this car, the Mitsubishi Lancer GT. So if you guys don't know the Lancer GT, um, there's quite a few trims of the Mitsubishi Lancer family. Uh, it starts here in the US with the ES trim, the SE, the GT, rally art, and then the Evo. So um, like I said, this was 2015. I picked it up, it was brand new. I tested it out. I think it was the first time I was ever driving a Mitsubishi Lancer. Never sat in one, never driven one. I just love the body styling of it. I wish I got an Evo, sure, uh, or Rally Art. But at the time, it just made sense to me. I wanted a black car specifically. I wanted one brand new. Uh, I actually did Uber and live in this car for a little bit of uh, a couple months right after I got it. But this car, like I said, a lot of you guys who are fans of this build, I've had it since brand new. I'm the only owner, uh, if I remember correctly, I drove it off the Mitsubishi dealership lot here in Austin, Texas with 12 miles on it. So original owner, obviously car has just changed so much over the years. And let's do a little walk around engine bay. So now obviously you guys, a lot of y'all know, car is turbocharged. Has a lot of sweet, nice, rare JDM goodies on the car and it's far from stock. We upgraded a lot of stuff, including the brake calipers, Cadillac CTSV six piston brakes. And on the rear, we also have the Evo 10 Brambos. Um, car is wide body. Nice little thing I added on, wider front and rear fenders. But yeah, it's just overall such a nice and aggressive build. Uh, from the outside to the inside to the engine bay. So. so I know every single year on this car's birthday, I usually talk about what new mods have been done to the car. Um, new addition, new parts. To be honest with you guys, since last year's video to this year, I haven't really spent too much time and money on this build. Uh, firstly, because I am feeling that the car is pretty close to my center of perfection. Sure, there's a few little stuff I like to do in my spare time or if I have some extra money laying around, but this car is pretty close. Um, would I like to drive it more? The answer is yes. As you guys know, I have quite a few projects right now. Um, the two newest additions to the car family, 
uh, in my car collection is the S2000 earlier this year and more recently the Lancer Rallyard. So obviously a lot of time and focus and money is being spent on those newer builds. Not to say I'm neglecting this car and this car is not going anywhere. I keep wanting to stress that. Um, but yeah, let's do a little recap of what parts I've done to the car um, since November 2021 to November 2022. Alright, so let's start with the engine bay. So on the engine bay, I did pick up a few other parts. Um, I think this is pretty close to how I want it to be. Uh, but I was still searching for other rare parts. So one of the rare parts which I picked up this summer was this piece back here. So if you guys are wondering what this is, this is a Monster Sport Titanium Turbo Manifold. Uh, it covers the turbo, helps keep heat away from the engine, um, and it's actually made by Monster Sport Titanium. Very nice, burn look. Very rare piece, from what I know, I think this is like the only one I've seen around. Never seen any Evo 10 or Rallyer owners rocking it. So super cool from Monster Sport. Um, another piece that I also recently picked up in the engine bay uh, was this guy right here. So this is a Project Mew brake fluid cap. So yes, might not be anything special, but it is a little cap for JDM points. Um, I also did pick up an ERC up in the cooler piping. This one right here that you see is the same one I've been rocking for maybe a couple years. This part is probably one of the most rare parts on my car. Just this ERC piece alone, I think I spent about two years looking for one. Uh, from what I know, there are probably maybe one, uh, I'm probably one of like three or five guys in the US that has it on the Evo 10 platform. Uh, forget about the Lancer platform because firstly, Lancers don't come turbo, except for the rally art. Secondly, even if Lancer owners turbocharge their car, most of them aren't crazy like me spending all that money on JDM bling. So anyways, really rare ERC operating cooler piping. Uh, but I did pick up a second one. So this one's kind of like bluish in color. I picked up one more like purplish tin. Super rare and hard to find and discontinued. One other thing that I did pick up recently are headlights. These are still the same headlights that I had since probably like 2017 or 2018. I'll show you guys the sequential look to it. The Demon Eye. These will be going on my Mitsubishi Lancer Rally Art pretty soon. Um, I do have new headlights for this car, being my baby. And they are here in this box. So I do have to find time to pretty much do that install, take off the front bumper, replace the headlights, and then these headlights can go onto the rally art. That should be pretty cool. But yeah, you guys can stay tuned and look out for the video. I'm not sure how soon I'll be able to do it, but it'll be upcoming. Um, let's see. On the outside, I don't know, not too much. Oh, one other thing that I think I picked up uh, within this past year are these tail lights. So these tail lights are pretty cool. Let me show you guys. I recently, from the stock black housing tail lights, I changed it out to like some LED spider tail lights, and these are the latest ones I picked up. So whenever I unlock the car, it has a nice startup animation. I'll show you. So cool. I can never get enough of it. So yeah, super awesome LED tail lights. You guys know I love updating and refreshing the look of the car once in a while. It's constantly upgrading small little bits. Um, so yeah, with the new headlights, I think it looks super cool. Let's come around to the interior of the car. I think for the most part, the interior pretty much stayed the same. I don't recall upgrading or installing any new parts. I still love this Voltex steering wheel. I've been trying to see if I could find a second one because I kind of wanted one in my S2000. You guys know that I do have a few parts for the S2000 from Voltex with the Voltex bumper, which I haven't put on yet. And I also have a Voltex carbon fiber wing, also haven't put on the car. So yeah, um, I think everything else is pretty much the same in here. Um, I'm not sure if I did this, I think it was last year, not really this year, but I also did install this black view dash cam. I've dash cam in all my cars, but this black view is pretty much top of the line when it comes to dash cam. You have one back up front, 
and one back there. So the purpose of a dash cam is to record anything that happens. So if you knock on wood, get into an accident or, you know, stuff like that, you have some video evidence. Um, but yeah, I think the interior pretty much stayed the same. Uh, like I said, I'll be honest, I am guilty of not driving the car much. Um, because firstly, I'm storing the car where I don't live. It's with my brother. Uh, just because of a parking situation, your boy needs to work hard so that I could um, make more money. And uh, hopefully the goal, which is the goal for a lot of car guys, is to buy a big piece of land so we can have a nice garage, warehouse, stuff like that. Hopefully in the future we'll make that happen. Um, but yeah, like I said, this car isn't going anywhere. I know I don't drive it enough. To be honest, I'm staring at the odometer right now. And you guys are going to kill me for this, but since it's brand new, Right now it has about 34,000 miles and quite honestly a big bulk of those mileage was put when I daily drove this car for a little bit. I don't remember, I think it was slightly after I sold my EK Civic, might have been 2017 maybe or 2018, maybe 2019. I daily drove it for a short period of time to work for a couple months. Um, but other than that, you know, I in recent few years I haven't really put much miles on it. Oh and we do have my wife over here. Um, so this video I'm talking about this ownership of this car so this is seven years with this car I don't know you've seen this car since it's brand new what are your thoughts I'm, it's been crazy right seven years can you believe I've owned this car for seven years now mm -hmm. and um, well obviously when I first picked the, up the car she saw it in bone stock form um, yeah, at the dealership too. yeah what are your thoughts are you I don't know kind of turned out pretty crazy right from stock to how it is today um, definitely I know she gets very nervous about this car just because of the amount of parts and time and money and everything that's spent on the car um, but yeah I think this car to me is kind of like a masterpiece an art piece that it's one of one I mean there's a lot of stuff that like are super rare or hard to find and discontinued um, and I don't know it's just one of those things that like I just Come like to stare yeah, she knows. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you guys are wondering what I might want to do with the car, um, they might have been stuff that I might have said last year. Like I said, I've been kind of slowing down on this car because I'm pretty satisfied where, with where it is today. But if there are a few things I would like to change, again, don't bet on it being in the near future because I have other projects that I'm working on, um, like the Rally R, the S2000, those are newer builds. Uh, this will be a very slow progression, if anything. Um, these seats, these Brom seats are awesome. I love them. I've had them for quite a few years. But who knows, maybe in the future we might upgrade them. Not sure yet. But for now, they look good. They work great. Um, this other thing back here, this harness bar. Cypher Auto harness bar. Um, I, it's just a harness bar so I can still fit people back there. But let's be honest, I'm not really, you know, ferrying people around in this car. Uh, especially in the back seats. Plus, now I have another four-door car, my Rally Art. So, um, the plan is maybe in the future, again, don't bet on it, but, you know, in, maybe in the future we'll take out that harness bar and put like a full roll cage. Uh, who knows? Um, one other thing that I would love to do someday is um, maybe do like air cup suspension. Uh, right now, you know, callovers, great. I love the stance. I love how aggressive, how low it is. But with air cup suspension, I can look and feel this way, but raise it up one, two inches if I go over a steep driveway or uh, uh, you know, a hump or stuff like that. Um, over the years, I've broken the front bumper twice, this front bumper twice. Um, and yeah, not fun when I have to spend money to replace a fiberglass bumper to get it fixed. We do have a backup various bumper. So again, maybe I'll throw that on. It's an authentic V2 various front bumper that I have sitting in the box and it's been quite a while. Uh, I do need to get it painted, but again, no rush. Uh, if I do get that bumper done, I'll probably sell this one. Um, but yeah, all in all, like I said, it's just, it's just, uh, I don't know, such a joy, like owning this car and enjoying it. Uh, she is slowly collecting dust. Um, but yeah, this car has just been my pride and joy and my master art piece. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I hope you guys like it. If you guys have questions on this build, I did a recent video talk about the top three questions asked on the YouTube channel or Instagram. 
Uh, I think on this build, the three things people always ask. One is the turbo stuff. Turbo related questions, right? Reliability, cost, what parts, all that stuff. The second big one people ask is the wide body kit, you know, how it fits, where it got it from, blah, 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 the cost. The third one is probably the big brake kit setup because again, not many Lancer owners do a big brake kit setup. Uh, it has, like I said, six piston Cadillac CTS-V front calipers and on the rear we have the Evo 10 Brembo calipers. So yeah, um, with regards to like, if you wanna see more in-depth videos on the turbo build, we have a separate playlist on the channel uh, called Mitsubishi Lancer Turbo Build. So make sure to check that out. Um, if you guys have questions, you can leave in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys have want to see more pictures of it, more you know videos of it, small little snippets besides YouTube, I do also update it quite frequently on my Instagram page. So make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna link it right here. Jus underscore tyn is my personal Instagram page where I share all my cars, nothing but my car stuff. Uh, and then the J Media Instagram page, I share about other cars I feature on the channel. Once in a while, I share my car stuff. So again, if you guys stay to the end. Make sure to leave a thumbs up. It's been seven years, it's been a long ride with this car. I know some of you guys have the habit of switching cars every year or every other month. Um, I personally like to enjoy new builds, but at the same time, this car is just, it's on the point of no return, if you know what I mean. Um, with the amount of time, dedication, and money spent, I won't get my money back on this car unless I would have parted out, which would break my heart. So yeah, gonna keep her. So again, you guys stay to the end, leave a thumbs up, hit the subscribe, Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.